Hey guys, Thomas the Silly Jr. here, aka Mustache Town, and welcome back to some more Warriors Orochi 4. We got some more events, so let's check them out. Yeah. I have a question for you. Proceed. If you have me, you want to share me. If you share me, I no longer exist. What am I? A secret. I am not alive, yet I grow. I have no lungs, yet I need air. I have no mouth, yet I must. Yet I can drown, what am I? One thing that fits all of those conditions is fire. I cannot fool you, Jugaleon. That much is hardly worthy of your praise, but tell me, why are you posing me such riddles? I recall reading stories of your bond bondless wisdom and your limber tongue with which you convinced so many enemies to concede without fighting. Just now, I was able to catch a glimpse of that for myself. I can know no greater joy. I do not mind being wise, called wise, but limber tongue, I am now concerned as to how I will be remembered still, as long as you are happy. More dog! Gomon, surrender now, before things get ugly. We know that you've been stealing, we have secured your hideout. Ah! It looks like the game's up. Well, I'm ready for what's waiting for me. Time to get out. We're in a blaze of glory. Excellent. Now hand over the goods that you stole. We couldn't find anything in your, your hideout. Of course not. I already gave everything away to the starving peasants. Bad luck. You're a lap dog to the big waves. Lap dog? Dog? Have you ever if you stuck to think about the suffering of the people? How hard it's been for them to be thrown into this crazy world? Well, I have. I stole what I stole for them. To save them, I have no regrets. Do your worst with me. I see. I have only seen the surface of this crime and failed to look deeper. I have been a fool. Goman, allow me to help you in your endeavors to save the people. Huh? Well, okay, sure. <laughs> You're okay. Get in. Lady UNG, you look happy. Has something good happened? You noticed that I was trying to act normally. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. I don't know. I actually think you like this too. It turns out I found a library stocked with books. I heard you like to read, Master Takagage, so I thought. Yes, indeed. I couldn't ask for more. A library? Please take me with you to see it. Of course, even in the other world, there are people who just can't settle down unless they are reading. I'm happy I'm not the only one. Follow me then. Lead on, thank you so much for this. Any other events? Lumong! Ah, oh, Master Lumong, the intellectual and brave officer Wu. I'm so happy to have be able to be able to have met you. I might be a little go going a little far, I'm not complaining, but I've not achieved quite as much as you seem to think. Oh, but you have. You've got the potential to find the very era. Why, uh, hold on, I can't tell you that. Hey, no need to stop the phrase now. No, there is, I'm afraid. If we were to, to, to be told something that far from our, your perspective, is in the future, you might act, act differently and change what you might think I see as the past. Changing the history of China will change the history of Japan. What effect might have that on the more? I might not even be born. I see. Like the breaking of a dam, changing the terrain downriver. If I was to learn the future, then the flow of history might be changed. Yes, that's the issue, so I'm not going to tell you anything else. There's so much I would like to discuss with you, but no, I can't. In which case, let's talk about something else. The art of war, perhaps an ancient te tactile text. Talk talking about such things won't change anything, I presume. I see, I see. Very clear. Clever. I like that very much, Master Lumong. Alright, that is everybody we have events for. There we go. In order to break the deadlock force but faced by the coalition, a plan was hatched. Their main force would pretend to have found another bracelet in order to lure them the forces of the gods. Meanwhile, a second force would rush to where the bracelet would actually be located. At the same time, a third force would infiltrate the lightly defended main camp of the gods to slave Liu Shan of the Shu and turn Zhu Huan and its bracelet to their side. If successful, their plan would bring the coalition into equal footing with the 
the gods. Kanesuge, Noah, Akuni, and Shimaja left the forest to locate the bracelet, splitting off in, from the lane camp. They proceeded in secret and finally reached the place where the bracelet was supposedly being worshipped. I sense enemies on the battlefield. A strange reports of our scouts indicated that the divine forces went to attack Yukimura and the others. If there are enemies here, though, that is, this is bad. Shimizhou and the forces who went on ahead might already be surrounded. You're yeah, right, we should hurry. My lord, please be safe. Well, let's do it up! Is this a shit dummy? You are looking for this, I presume. Uh oh. Eh? Do you truly understand what this trinket will cause? Oh no! Enough talking. We're here to eliminate them, nothing else. Or waffle. We're here. Jin Chung, seriously? Let's get started. Got me a rake. That's an interesting look. Kind of like a horse hat going on thing there. Sort of mystic barrier, I see. Hmm. Let's see. Let's try going up this way.
Yeah, now we're making our way. It's a lot of officers. You know what time it is. Whoop. It's time to power up. Take that, laser boy. What sport is this nonsense? Oh, the barriers broke after I was getting ready to go the other way. Time to get high up. Oh. Yes. 
Just showing you going down with your little cute X's. Think you're cute with them X's? No! There goes the bracelet. Hey! Be extremely careful who you trust. You vanished! The treasure is ours! Ha! The treasure is ours! All of the enemies were so handsome too, I don't think I've ever enjoyed a battlefield so much. It was an odd one, definitely. Chia Jung must be acting based on some kind of plan. Doesn't look like he simply wants to punish you, my lord, but I don't understand why he is fighting for Zeus. He handed the bracelet over so easily just because we beat him once. I can't believe we've met the famous sorcerer Master Seimi. He is in this world. I wish I could have talked to him some more. Heh, <laughs> we'll see him again soon. In any case, we've got a bracelet, so let's return to Yukimura and the others. I just hope they are holding the enemy back. There you go. Reporting, Ares has taken our bait and the forces are on the march. The movements have also exposed the lake, lake location of Lord of Lushan. This is our chance to save him. Very well. Finally, we can save him. Let's get going. No, the mission of the Shadow is too, too harsh for a girl like you to stay behind. You can't pull that on me. I want to fight for Guan Shou too. Listen up, Hanzo. She is the one who told us about Lushan in the first place. In which case, you look after her. That's my condition. Thank you. I'll be useful, I promise. The rescue of Lushan! I didn't get anyone for that mission, huh? Nope.
Well, that's what I wanted to do. Give them all them skills, yo. Obtained the bracelet. At the same time, the main coalition of force started their decoy operation, striking out in the misleading direction. They drew in the forces of the gods. Hanzo, Tori, and Kunoichi quietly watched from the shadows. They used the enemy's movements to determine the location of the gods' main man camp. Then joined by Bo Shen Ye, they were also the that was where they launched their attack. Maybe they are more exposed than normal, their but their defenses are still pretty tight. It's not going to be easy to find Lu Lushan. Yes, I know, but we can't afford to give up. You're a tough little fighter, aren't you? I'm in your corner, kiddo. <laughs> we have to hurry. While Lord Yukimura and the others hold back Ares, let's the search begin. I don't think that she's capable of stealth. This mission isn't going to be easy. Boy. Puma's probably gonna be my primary for this battle. Get in there. Ah. They get Cyclops. Uh oh. Got a mission on time. Uh oh. I think it's time to power up already. Sam Pops is out of the way. Journey. 
Yes, we're all going to our little destinations. Shinkai, huh? Yeah, get out of here, Shinkai, join us. And we've been doing just fine. The battle of patience it appears. Hey, now she joined. A barrier. Right, one of those. Keys to the barrier, huh? Oh boy, here we go. Time to power up!
what is up with this nonsense of race. Ah. Oh my god. Get out of here. Alright, there we go. Another one. Fuck. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Get out of here! Ah. Konoichi versus Nene. These ninja battles get ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> 
Trouble for you. My apologies, not to mention how Zhou Yun and the others have suffered. Let me fight alongside you too. Let me help t 
to. Easy. Yeah, let me help keep Lord Lu Chen safe. Of course, you're more than welcome. We've already seen how strong you are. We completed our mission. Let's hurry back then. If everyone gets defeated, we won't be able to save Guan Xiao and the others. You're right. I will stop Guan Su and show you myself. The successor of benevolence, Liu Xian, much was expected of Liu Xian as the son of Liu Bei, who compa whose compassion and charisma drew together numerous heroes. However, many mistakenly thought of him as a slow and foolish son due to how he acted only after calmly considering all factors of any situation. The young guardian, Ching Kai, as the daughter of Jing Fu, she was born in the chaotic times and she grew up surrounded by the mighty warriors that followed Liu Bei. After her decision to stand by on the battlefield, she made her it her calling to protect Liu Bei's son Liu Shan from any of the world uh, that would harm him. Unlike her father, she was a calm warrior who never let her emotions run rampant. Hey. There you go. Do you think they, they found the bracelet? What about Lord Liu Shan? Calm yourself, Wang Ping. All we have to do is trust in the others. Wait and withstand the raging attack of these enemies. We have seen word that Ares and his forces have made their move. This place will soon be surrounded by the enemy. I'll play the role of hiding in our main camp, pretending to have the bracelet. That will make it easier for Athena and Ares to believe our ploy. If they realize it is a lie, though, the bracelet and the absolute niche will be in danger. Keep the enemy away from me if you can. Leave it to us. We will protect you, Master Perseus. Please let me fight too, Lady Yimping. I don't want to fight my brothers or Master Zhu Yun. That's the truth, but I can't just hide and watch you fight for me. I want to save my brothers. Well said, daughter. Then you can come with us. Your resolve is, your mo is most impressive. Thank you. As the daughter of the God of War, I'll do the very best I can. Alright. If you'd enjoyed this part, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out the links in the description. One head to over to my Discord server, the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are greatly appreciated. Until next time, everyone, bye bye